guys, Mike RC back. The last video we looked at, oh, why do my hands look so dirty? We looked at the SCT Hobby Wing kit and we put it in the Rustler 4x4. We did some driving with it and I was so impressed. I actually wanted to try one of their bigger A-scale combos. So here we go. We got the latest and greatest A-scale. This is the XC run. There's the easy run and the XC run. I think this is more toward racing. It's got different features, um, a little bit different setup on how it is, but I wanted to try something kind of high end from Hobby Wing. So so xr8 plus and the 4274 motor so yeah we're gonna unbox this take a look at it go over some of the features and then maybe install it and something give it a shot also i did pick up bullet connectors to put on the motor wires because on the last combo i didn't do that and i want to be able to try different motors with the speed controller i like kind of swapping my setups around and eventually i want to kind of try everything you know it's kind of cool to do but let's get this thing popped open Ooh, look at that. So it says it's rated for 200 amps, and then this is the 2250 kV, and this is the 4274 censored, obviously all that good stuff. But this is supposed to be their latest and greatest eight scale controller, so. I guess we'll start with the motor. This system was actually quite pricey too. It was pretty dang expensive for an A scale. Dang. Take a look at that, guys. That is freaking amazing let's go ahead and pop it out it's a hefty boy all right so there's the motor it's kind of cool it's got like these ridges cut into it. it makes it a little longer but the bowl holes look like they're real big and you get two different sizes you get your u-shaped you get your u-shaped terminals to solder on there's your sensor port spins nice and free yeah, this thing's freaking awesome so like i said it's a little bit bigger it's the 4274 they also have 4268 so i wanted to get the little bit longer one to have more torque so very nice motor put that right here let's see what else you get with the motor hopefully some wires all you get is sensor cable so hopefully the wires for the motor and the esc so that's what comes in the box of that and then you get a booklet the different motor i guess in this series you can get so pretty interesting all right so we got the motor here let's open the esc oh dang that is freaking nice so same great packaging as the other sct setup we had check it out guys so all aluminum full aluminum case there's your screws for mounting. I think what I'm gonna do instead of hot gluing this directly on the car, I'm gonna try to 3D print a mount for this, then we can secure it to that. So it's got this frameless fan that's supposed to be like kind of unique to the speed controller. Easy XC run. I think I'm Z run, I think is how you say it. X or plus. So pretty nice. You do have to solder your own wires. So kind of gotta do that. Um, big old capacitors there. Nice on off switch, very long radio wire. Uh, pretty nice and i believe this is where you can plug in your programming card which i or the programming dongle which i do have and then there's your sensor port so pretty nice this esc is rated from 2 to 6s i don't think it says it anywhere does it yeah there you go so 2 to 6s you can set your bc voltage i believe it does 15 amps um, the good thing about this system compared to a lot of other censored systems is what's unique about it is this will run in full censored mode all the time and hobby wing claims that it gives you better smoother power and delivery and all that castle they do something called smart sense so the motor will be ran on censored initially to get it rolling but then it switches to senseless they claim it's more efficiency and all that good stuff but the i don't know i guess running it all censored makes this thing really smooth so we're gonna find out um i'm really excited so you get looks like you get ooh, it come with a cat pack your motor phase wires a little bit of heat shrink and then your your instruction manual this is everything that comes with so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and get soldering like i said we're gonna put bullets on these that way i can try this motor with different speed controllers this speed controller with different motors and that's it now i gotta find something to stuff this in maybe a 10 scale car maybe an ASO car not sure yet um, i'm gonna go ahead and read through the instructions if i find anything noteworthy i'll let you guys know um, but that's about it so yeah it's supposed to be a pretty good system i was super happy with the set setup so we're gonna give this a scale system a try but yeah, so far, I mean, everything looks really, really nice. So let's go from here. So this is all the information on the ESC. It tells you motor KV limits with how many cells. So if you're in on a four cell, you gotta be up to 3000 KV on these size motors. Six cell, you gotta be 2400 or below. So pretty interesting. I don't know how they come up with that, but two to six S, 200 amps, continuous 1080 peak. It can run censored or sensorless. 
Um, yeah, that's it. So you can do the over there programmer the or the programming box. But these are all the different adjustments you can make to the speed controller. So there's quite a bit. I have the Bluetooth programmer, so maybe some uh, in a newer future video, we're gonna connect that and we'll kind of go through all the settings. All right, guys, real quick, hopped on Hobby Wings website. I just kind of wanted to go over some of the specs with this ESC. This ESC, I can't find a whole lot of information about it. I still think it's really new and it's really expensive. Like I said, it's more of a racing ESC. So not a whole lot of people are running these. So I wanna just go on Hobby Wings website, kind of show you guys some of the specs. So basically they brag about, you know, you can run it in full censored mode at all times when paired with the hobby ring motor, which obviously we got with motor. Talking about the frameless fan on the speed controller. So kind of interesting. I'll just leave it there for a second, let you look at it. If you want to pause and look at these and kind of read them more thorough, you can. I'm just going to kind of blast through them. Kind of more information about the fan. Boost turbo timing technology. So that's kind of cool, I guess. I've never used anything like that on an ESC. It's got rever reverse uh, reverse polarity protection, which is kind of interesting. Normally on an ESC, if you hook it up backwards, it, it blows the ESC out, but I guess this one, it doesn't hurt it. So that's kind of cool. As long as you're paying attention, hopefully you never have to use that. Shows you can how you can program it. More about programming using the app. That's pretty cool. It's a 15 amp BSC, B BEC, I'm sorry. So up to 15 amps, and you can go from 6 volts to 8.4 volts in steps of 0.1 volts. So that's pretty good as far as if you have high power servos. Anyways, guys, yeah, I just wanted to go on the website. I didn't really give a whole lot of information originally when I unboxed this, so I wanted to kind of just touch on a few things. This is more of a competition style ESC and motor. I'm going to buy it just for bashing. I don't race personally. However, I can appreciate the features that you get with competition stuff, the smoothness, the programmability and all that stuff so without further ado i've just been blabbing about this thing forever now i'm gonna get some wires soldered up on this thing and then we're gonna stuff this into something and give it a little test run and see if it's actually worth the money also real quick here it is compared to a castle 1515 so i mean pretty much the same size i have a feeling this will probably have more overall power but i think this one will be more smoother so i mean castles are known to be explosively powerful also, when you turn the motor shafts, the magnets feel way stronger in this one than this one. But Hobby Wing does use some sort of staggered magnet in the pole, so or in the rotor, so that might be something to do with it. But I don't know. I always turn the motors. This one's super coggy, so feels like it has really strong magnets. But yeah, that's it. Like I said, maybe in the future we're gonna put try both systems in the same car with the same gearing, same battery, and everything, kind of just see what the differences are. Also, I could put this on a Castle ESC and data log. I don't know if the hobby wing data logs i should probably look into that i think it does but it would be kind of cool to see max amperage and all that kind of cool stuff oh yeah check that out guys Perfect. That's pretty dang good. I don't know if I should maybe put some more insulation here, but I don't think they'll touch. So that's how I did the ESC, so now I can unplug it. Pretty nice. Yeah, that's pretty good. These tabs suck a lot of heat, so they have a good soldering iron. But yeah, check it out, guys. That looks freaking awesome. Let me zoom out here a little bit. Boom. So look at that. Now we can detach our motor. Ooh, check it out, guys. All soldered up and ready to go. The ESC came with this cap pack. I tried to look through the instructions. I didn't read anything about it, so I just stuck it on the input leads of the ESC. Like I said, uh, I read through the whole instructions and nothing mentioned this capacity bank. So I'm assuming you just put it on the uh, inputs. And sometimes, you know, speedrun guys will use these on a, like really high amp discharges without the ripple going into the ESC. So I assume it just helps everything run a little bit better. So I don't know. I'll slap it on there just because I have it. Um, if it gets in the way, I'll take it off. I doubt the ESC will not, not function without it. But yeah, guys. So all the soldering went really well. I did try to do my best to make it look really clean and I think I did all right. So... Yeah, that's it. Now we got to slap it in something and go run it and see how it is.
All right, guys, check it out. So this is the vehicle we decided to put this system in. A Revo and a couple other uh, choices we could have put this thing in, but I was like, you know what? The Max is, uh, this is my Traxxas Max. I've had this for a few years now. This is an original Max, not the extended Max that they came out with later. So just a little mini Max. It had the stock VXL system in it, so go ahead and pull this out. Luckily, the Max's motor mount is actually, was able to be used with this motor because a lot of, some of the other Traxxas vehicles, you can't really easily swap the motors around like on the bigger cars um so it's really nice that it was very easy to be able to put that on it fit perfectly the motor literally fit perfectly so if you want to put a 4074 size can motor on this truck it fits perfect even a little shorter one would fit fine but the 40 millimeter motor does fit perfect in the max and the esc is just tucked right here i just put some hot glue right now so we'll see if that holds up it may come off if it does i'll probably come up with another mounting system but as of right now that's solid got the switch right here a capacitor pack here got the sensor wire and everything ran so now i'm gonna hook a battery up to it get it all initialized and then go kind of take it for a test trip all right so it seems to be working now the only thing i'm concerned about is i'm getting a red blinking led right there i'm not sure what that's about but it does seem to work i'm gonna go look there. there doesn't seem to be any reverse so i'm gonna go ahead and hook the bluetooth dongle up enable reverse make sure all the other parameters are what i like but yeah, it's working. I do have a, a red blinking light. If anyone knows what that is, let me know. And that's it. I'm going to get this all buttoned up. And I'm going to be using the GoPro to film, so hopefully I can get this car in action. But yeah, we're just going to do a quick little speed run up and down the street. Like I said, it's 3S, 4S, and then I'm going to crawl through the grass and give my impressions of the motor. In the next video, we're going to go take this thing actually bashing. The weather's starting to clear up now, so I'm going to go find a cool spot to let this rip. So I'm excited. Let's see how it does. Dang, this thing actually kind of rips and it's very smooth of course because it's a top of the line hobby wing competition system so so far very smooth i know i keep saying that in my videos it's hard to quantify it but just trust me it's really smooth here's a little bit of slow action i mean you can really just if you do that with the stock system it'll just cog the brakes feel nice too i think i got the brake style perfect all right, so this is three cell, stock gearing, little speed run. <laughs> it's actually really drivable on three cell, which is good because Sometimes four cell can be kind of a handful in this truck because it's so small. I mean, this is like a one tenth size truck. But look at that guy, plenty of power. I mean, I'm not even matting it. That's probably half throttle. Yeah, it pops wheelies easily. That's awesome. All right, now we're gonna put the four cell in it. All right, quick heat check. It's got a little heat in it. It's not, I wouldn't consider it bad. I need to do a temp gun and do a real hard, just to make sure I'm not over geared, but this also truck's pretty heavy, but I don't see how this would be any heavier than a buggy. It may be, but I doubt it, so. That's it, now we're gonna slap our four cell in there. All right, here we go, I'm kinda nervous, not gonna lie. Okay. They cut out for some reason. That was bad. For some reason the motor cut out. I don't know if it hit low voltage or what.
Okay, yeah, it's definitely cutting power, so I think this battery is just dead. Let me get a fresh four cell and try this again. All right, all my lipos are dead, so I kind of just shoved this one in there. So we're just going to do a speed run. I'm not going to do anything crazy with it, and then I'm just going to have to charge my other batteries up. Because I'm normally running these 100C 5000s, and these are great, but they're all dead. I have them in storage mode all the time, and I guess I just got to charge them up. So anyways, we got a basher. This 120C 6800. Doesn't quite fit, but like I said, it's kind of squeezing there, and I'm going to give it my best without wrecking anything. Okay, here we go. Just a speed run. Nothing crazy. That's almost full throttle. Alright, well that's pretty good. I'm sorry guys, that's probably a little bit mediocre. But the next video, I'm going to get the right battery in there and really, really push this thing. I'd say, I mean, it's going to be a hair slower than stock on 4-cell. On 4-cell stock, this thing's pretty quick. But being a lower, little bit lower KV motor, it's going to have a little less top speed. But I can tell you this, this thing has a lot of punch. And as you can see, it, it's very smooth. All right guys, kind of a little after run, just kind of my thoughts. The system is very powerful. It definitely pulls really hard. Um, very, very smooth, running censored all the time. The, that would be the pros, it's very smooth, you know, lots of power. This is the 74 or 72 millimeter motors, so you get a lot of torque. And yeah, it just throws this thing around like nothing. Um, I don't even know what it would do on 6S. We'll definitely have to try that. But on 3S and 4S, it's actually a lot of fun. I think 3S is the sweet spot where the truck is uncontrollably fast, but you can still pop it up, you know, do wheelies and it still has plenty of speed in my opinion. The only con I think about this system is how expensive it is. I paid, you know, 300 and like, I don't know, it was like $375 for this. And this is kind of, an, you know, that's really high end for a uh, A scale power system because you can get the easy run hobby wing system, which I believe the new ones are censored uh, with a little bit different ESC, a little bit different motor. And those are around 200. And then the Castle Mama, Mon or Mama Monster X, you know, that's also a censored setup with a Castle motor. And I believe the Castle motor would probably have more punch than this motor. Maybe we have to try that. I have to find a way to do an accurate comparison. This motor is a little warm. It's not concerningly hot. Um, I don't have a way to check temperature, but putting my hands on it, I mean, it's pretty warm. So I might end up having to put a fan on this just to kind of help with cooling. This truck's pretty heavy and it's geared, like I said, it's geared about as aggressively as stock. But, you know, the stock motor's got a big old heat sink on it. So that's it. I am very happy with it. I'm definitely going to have to go out and drive it some more, you know, really get more feel of a truck to see if this is worth an upgrade. Because to be honest, this truck's really good stock, but... Anyways, I guess that's going to do it. So there it is, the Hobby Wing X, the Z Run system. I really like it.